Hey everyone, this is Felipe. Welcome to the Ego Porsche Academy. In today's video, we're going to talk a bit about the orientation of our row of trees in Ego Porsche's system. And this is a very important topic because it makes all the difference in how much sunlight your plants are getting. Basically, there are three things we consider when defining in which direction we're going to plant our row of trees. So the first one is the sun. right? Because the sun, usually during the year, it varies in its inclination towards the earth. And that can lead to more sunlight or less sunlight on one of the faces of your land. right? You could have more sun on the south if you are in the northern hemisphere or you can have more sun in the north if you are in the southern hemisphere. So this is one important factor to consider. The second thing is the wind direction. The wind is what causes most dehydration in plants. It's actually a lot more harmful than the sun itself. So if you've got very strong winds coming from this a particular direction you want to have your rows oriented so that one row serves as a windbreak to the next row so this is the second important factor to consider the third one is the inclination or the slope of the land so if you've got a very sh strong slope you might want to do contour lines with your row of trees and of course that's also gonna it's gonna matter if you're working with tractors or if you're just doing manual labor because if you're working with tractors sometimes you're unable to work in contour, la uh, contour lines if the inclination is too strong. Today I want to talk especially about the sun positioning because we are in this agroforestry system as you can see in the, the row of trees they are oriented towards the east so they're coming from the east to the west and I was walking around here today and I was um, I was talking to Gennaro about, about how the system is already really shaded and I was noticing how since the sun is right there and come here so that you can take a better look it's winter here in Brazil right now so the sun is has a lower inclination so it's lower on the north side so it actually rises on the northeast and it sets on the southeast so it's I mean it sets on the northwest so it's most part of the day it's actually on the north and then we've got every row of tree that's more to the north than where we are right now shades the system. If the rows were oriented towards the north, then as the sun progresses on the sky, then it would really enter and il infiltrate each row of trees. But as we were standing here at 11 in the morning, everything was shaded. And it, it's a time of the day where everything should receive a lot of sunlight. But it was shaded because all these trees, they form this this wall that completely blocks the sun and then this makes a huge difference for the development of, of our plants especially when we're working with short cycle plants that really demand a lot of sunlight such as vegetables or some sorts of roots such as cassava and sweet potatoes so it's really a thing to consider but then like I said there are other things to consider the wind where the wind comes from if you if you've got and here in the, the Sahara region we've got a lot of wind so it's something really important to consider you might want to make your first rows of trees as windbreaks so that they really protect the plants because you know these babies here banana plants and we use them a lot they're very sensitive to wind you know they get the leaves all torn because of too much wind and any plant dehydrates and can get diseases and lots of things from excessive wind. So this is basically the three things you want to consider. If you have no problems with slope 
and you've got no excessive problems with winds, then definitely orient your system towards the north. So north, south. Because then it doesn't matter if you're in the northern hemisphere or if you're in the southern hemisphere, you will get enough sunlight throughout the whole year. If you are closer to the, the equator, then it doesn't matter so much because then the sun is always 90 degrees up in the sky, so you can orient it uh, east to west, no problem. And if you've got wind problems, one thing that you can do, you don't need to orient all your, of your system in order to block the wind, but you can make a few row of trees that will block the wind, and then the rest of the trees you can plant from north to south. And then every certain meters you can do another wind break. So you can just, just do several wind breaks every 20 or 30 or 50 meters. And then you can have the rows of trees in between wind breaks oriented north to south. south. That's going to guarantee that you've got enough sunlight going through your system and all the plants receive adequate sunlight. And of course, apart from the orientation, Pruning is very important, so just since we're here, let's take a look at these eucalyptus, which were pruned um, 90 days ago. 90 days ago, uh, you can probably <laughs> have already completely re-sprouted, so they are really uh, shading the system quite a bit and producing lots of organic material, but it's really beautiful to see how the plants thrive and they're so beautiful after pruning. So that's what we've got for you today. And so thank you for watching, subscribe to our newsletter if you haven't yet, the link is right below, it's agroforestacademy.com. If you subscribe, you're going to get receive all written content, which is a complementary material to these videos. And you'll be the first to know about all our updates, new videos, and all the goodies that we have to share with you. So thank you for watching, this is Felipe for the Agroforestia Academy, signing out.